Maybe you've heard my voice already, maybe you haven't. So I'll go over it one more time. Is this the year of digital Armageddon? Computers, they make our lives fun and make work more profitable. But there's a dark side. The network computer systems that we take for granted are starting to run every aspect of society, but they are wide open to attack. Governments, corporations, you, me, the whole world can be brought to its knees with a few malicious keystrokes. By fraudsters, by hackers, by terrorists. What the experts are saying is truly terrifying. So here's the next of the seven deadly sins that are leading us towards digital Armageddon. Wireless networks, aren't they great? No cables, no hassles. But if it's easy for us, it's easy for them. We're still getting the internet generally in the home through a wire, unless you're subscribing to a cellular type service. But what we do now is we take that wire, we put it to a wireless router, and then we have wireless internet throughout our house. And the benefit is convenience. The ability to get on the internet and do what you need to do anytime, anyplace, anywhere. The downside is open access means everyone's abusing it. If you drive around and open up your laptop and see how many unsecured connections are available at any given point, most people are not taking the most basic precautions. It's like not locking your front door. They're just not doing it. They're leaving themselves open to attack. Right now, I'm simply walking down the block and I'm continually looking for open networks. I have a hit. We are connecting to it right now. Somebody has hooked up a network. It's unsecured and my laptop immediately connected to it. The key lock lets you know that this network is secured. It has a password on it. Those without a key that say unsecured wireless network require no password. Technically, they're open for anyone to drive by and use their network for their own gain. I'm gonna put in the standard username and password right out of the box. Voila, we're in. Here's the setup screen, security, addresses, passwords. I can enable and disable any functions from here. Now this is very scary because these people have not only told me what they're doing, but now they've shown me the actual address of where all their information can be found, literally just giving it to me without even trying. People aren't taking the very basic precautions they need to maintain security. Why would I ever need to dumpster dive when I can sit across the street, log into your network, and find out everything I need to know about you? There are simple things you can do to stop this from happening, and it starts at home. It starts with people securing their wireless networks at home. And it only takes a few minutes to go through the guidelines and put in a password for the network and a password to access the router, which is the main device that controls your network. Wi-Fi intrusion. It's a sin, but only one of seven. There are six others that we put together, and if you believe that forewarned is forearmed, go find them.